part one. Hello everyone, how are we on this bright day? I hope doing well. I hope all of you are safe, all of you are healthy and are listening to what mommy and daddy tell you at home. Great. Now children, today we are going to start our seventh reader. Okay, but before we start reading it, we are going to have a fun activity. Okay, so the activity is that I will show you the pictures and I'm going to ask you some questions. You will look at the pictures and try and give me the answers. After we answer those questions, we'll be able to understand what the book is about. Shall we begin? Okay, so it is reader number seven and the name of the story is Bantu and the Bird. Come along, let's begin and have some fun. So children, are we ready for the activity? Come along, let's begin. Now, look at this picture. I'm reading the name of the story. Bantu and the Bird. Now children, my questions begin. Okay? Can you guess what the story is about? I told you the name of the story. Can you guess what the story is about? Well, I feel the story must be about someone called Bantu and uh, this bird that I can see in the picture. Okay, this is what I feel. Now my next question. What can you see in this picture? What can you see in this picture? I want you to answer it. I am not going to tell you what I can see. I want you to give the answer to the person who is assisting you. Now, next question. What color are the birds? What color are the birds? Again, children, you are going to answer this question. I am not going to say it. What color are the birds? Look at all the colors that are there on the bird, on the birds carefully. There is not just one color. Okay? So, what colors are there on the birds? What are the other colors in the picture? Now, in this picture, you can see a lot of colors. You can see about one, two, three, four, five, five colors, five to six colors. You have to tell the name of all the other colors that you can see in the picture. Okay? Tell the names of all the colors that you can see in the picture. Now, children, let's turn to the first page. Okay, now I want you to look at this picture very, 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 very carefully. Okay, now my first question. Who are the people in this picture? In this picture, children, you can see people, a lot of people. Who are they? So, I feel there is a teacher and there are children. Okay, the teacher and the children. I can see teacher and children in this picture. Where are they? Where do you think are they? See, look at the look at the room. Look at the setting. Look at the things that are there in this room, the objects. And then you answer, where do you think they are? Where do you think they are? Well, I feel they are sitting in the class. They are sitting in the class. And what are they doing? What are they doing? Well, uh... I feel, uh, looking at the picture, that the children are all excitedly looking at the teacher and the teacher is showing them something, some pictures or something in, the, uh, in a book. So, maybe she is telling them a story, maybe she is telling them a rhyme. So, the children are listening to the teacher. Now, next question. Can you name the things in the classroom? Now, look at the picture very carefully and try and name the things, as many things as you can in this classroom. Let me tell you. Let me help you. Okay. I can see children. I can see teachers. Teacher. I can see table, chair. I can see lot of books. I can see some charts on the wall. I can see a globe on top of the shelf. I can see blocks. I can see a uh, a mat on which the children are sitting I can see uh, some type of pillows on which the children are sitting I can see a whiteboard 
then i can also see a clock uh, i think it's a clock only on top of the white board and i can see pencil box i can see pencils on the table i can see erasers i can see books and uh, i can see yes these are the things which i can see in this picture